Even though the annual funding for volunteer firefighter companies increased this year, there are still certain places in the state that actually may need more assistance. Halloween is still a week away, but some people in central PA are already looking forward to decking the halls. But the growth of Pennsylvania's medical marijuana program does create some logistical challenges for dispensaries like Nature's Medicine. Thousands of alumni returned to Penn State over the weekend as the university celebrated its 100th homecoming. Halloween is coming up in just two weeks, and one of the most popular events at this time of year happens at the Penn State Arboretum. Thousands of fans turned out on Penn State's campus to welcome back ESPN's College Game Day on Saturday. Pennsylvania's medical marijuana program has generated more than a half a billion dollars in sales since it began almost two years ago. Around 147,000 PA residents are certified medical weed patients, and there are now 72 dispensaries across the state. Nia Rodriguez is the general manager of Nature's Medicine, a state college dispensary. She says new additions to treatable conditions are a key growth factor. The state has released anxiety for one of the qualifying conditions. So with the anxiety patients, we end up getting about between 14 to 18 new patients per day. Anxiety was added to the treatable conditions list in July and more conditions could be on the way. We started with, I think, 17 um, approved conditions. Now we're at 23. Um, there's a lot more conditions out there that people suffer from that are not on this list. So as those things start getting added onto these lists, you're gonna see that number just expand beyond recognition. The success of the state's medical marijuana program has allowed for Nature's Medicine to open two more dispensaries. Nia has seen that grow firsthand with an increase in employees. When we first opened in June of 2018, there were seven employees, including the pharmacist. Now we have almost 30 employees. But the growth of Pennsylvania's medical marijuana program does create some logistical challenges for dispensaries like Nature's Medicine. We could see where the large quantity of patients that have been approved and are on the program now, where it's hard to get keep up with them because it, the demand is so great and the product is not there at this point. In State College, I'm Jerome Taylor for the Center County Report. Don, families and volunteers came together for the family carnival on Sunday. The event allows Don families to have a day filled with games, arts and crafts, and karaoke. Yeah. to be a day that the families can come and just celebrate with Don volunteers and their paired organizations and have a fun day, just be kids. Don's special event organization created four different adventure stations. Children could visit the Wild West, the jungle, the ocean, and space that coincided with the event's lifetime adventure theme. We just wanted it to be fun for the kids, like experience all different adventures that life has to offer. One of the major goals for this year's carnival was to cater to every age group. One of the inclusive efforts made by this year's carnival was the addition of a teen lounge, which allows teenagers to have their own exclusive space to enjoy the carnival on their own terms. So making sure that every kid and family, no matter how old or young they were, felt like this event was for them and that they were having fun at it. At the end of the event, the Thon 2020 logo was revealed. In University Park, I'm Jerome Taylor for the Center County Report. Inside the historic Roland Theater in Phillipsburg, the inaugural Center County Film Festival brought together amateur and pro filmmakers and movie fans from around the area. The festival includes workshops and events for filmmakers to learn new skills and bridge generational gaps. Artistic director Pearl Gluck says the festival accomplished its major goal. You know, the dream was to have different generations speak to each other and it came true. Um, even the master classes that were intended for teens, people came of all ages and they wanted to be part of it. Gluck says her favorite part of the festival was curating the films as it created multiple interpretations of the movies. The art for me of curating for me is trying to find a conversation between films. So, and sometimes people pick up on that and sometimes they find their own connections, which is a beautiful thing. One of those films was calling all earthlings about a Los Angeles cult. Here that we're all inside of. The suppression of this information is the highest type of treason. There's a lot of mystery about George Van Tassel. One of the more unique ways to further a conversation between generations, Pennsylvania State Representative Scott Coughlin impersonating Elvis with local kids at the festival's closing ceremony. Give me a 
Buck wants to make sure everyone involved knows that this is just the beginning for the Center County Film Festival. Right away, we'll just make sure that everyone realizes they're not part of something that just ends, that this is really just the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and start building on all this amazing energy that was created. In Phillipsburg, I'm Jerome Taylor for the Center County Report.